hello welcome back to my channel my name is tiana lauren and today we are going to be making some jerk chicken rasta pasta made from scratch with a homemade jerk seasoning blend and a homemade alfredo sauce okay so let's go ahead and get into the recipe okay so first i'm going to go ahead and get started on the seasoning for the jerk chicken now if you want to use the seasoning that's in store that's up to you and to show a special thanks to my YouTube channel, just click on the thanks button and select the amount that you would like to donate and click on buy and send. And thank you to all of those who support my YouTube channel. So I'm just adding in some white pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, cayenne pepper, allspice, black pepper, thyme, cinnamon, sloppy mama seasoning, crushed red pepper flakes, and then some white salt. And then you're just going to mix that all together. Okay, so next I'm going to go ahead and get started on the chicken breast. So I have my bowl here. And then I'm just going to add in a little bit of avocado oil. Okay, and then I'm just going to sprinkle in a few teaspoons of the jerk seasoning. And it's up to you how much you want to add in there. And after you finish seasoning the other side, then you're just going to add a little bit more of the olive oil or your avocado oil and put a little bit more seasoning on there. And then I would recommend letting this marinate for about 30 minutes to maybe about an hour. Okay, so next I'm just going to go ahead and start slicing up a red bell pepper and a orange bell pepper. But you're welcome to use any combination of any type of bell pepper that you want to. And then you're just going to cut them into strips like this. Okay, and you also can use some white onion or yellow onion for this recipe as well. I'm just gonna slice up just a little bit and I'm probably not gonna use all of the bell peppers and onions, but I'm just gonna cut up enough just to make sure that about four large garlic cloves now you can use more uh, just adjust it the way you want it to Also use some oil as well okay and then just add your chicken in and I did preheat my oven to 400 degrees and then you're just going to bake it in the oven for this time specified that's in the description box and guys, make sure that you check the description box so you can have the full list of uh, ingredients and measurements. So next, I'm just going to start boiling my noodles. So first, I'm just going to add like a good amount of white salt to that. 
and then I'm going to be using some penne pasta. Now, and the and just make sure that the water is really hot when you put it in there. And you can also add in like some oil just to make sure that it doesn't stick. So just like a little drizzle of oil. <clears throat> And then you're just going to give that a good stir. Okay, so next I'm going to start grating up some Parmesan cheese and this is the brand that I use. And I'm going to be using my food processor uh, my food processor for this recipe um if you don't have a food processor go ahead and get you one it's so much easier on your hands and of course it is faster so next i'm going to go ahead and get started on the uh, alfredo sauce and cooking the vegetables that go with that so I'm just going to add a little butter to the pan and then a little bit of avocado oil or you can use like um, olive oil whatever oil that you want to use So next you're just going to add a good handful of the onions and bell peppers. And then you're just going to add a few teaspoons of the, the jerk seasoning. And then you're just going to add in your chopped garlic. And then just stir that all around. And then you're just going to cook that until the garlic becomes fragrant. Okay, and then I'm just going to add my heavy whipping cream. And then you're just going to stir that all around. Once the sauce has had a chance to thicken up, you're just gonna turn the heat down just a little bit. And then you're gonna add in your Parmesan cheese. And then you're just going to add in your noodles. And then you can add a little bit of green onions to this as well. And then it will be ready to serve. So you're just going to add your pasta on the plate and then add on your chicken sliced or whole. And then you can add as much Parmesan cheese as you want to. And top it off with some green onions and maybe some parsley. 
and voila it is ready to serve okay guys so it is time to taste this food and see how it turned out so let's see let's get a little bit of chicken yummy so good mm. okay guys so if you enjoyed watching this video make sure that you give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel turn on the notification bell so that you can be notified when i post my next video share this video with someone that you believe that would like this video and leave me a comment and thank you guys so much for watching